everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy and on the show today I'm going to show you my updated vanity, bathroom and wardrobe areas. So I've just redone my bedroom here. It's a spare room where it's also my husband's study and all I've done is just refreshed it, getting ready for spring and summer. I use it quite frequently. It is a cooler bedroom to sleep in so sometimes on hot summer nights we just have a bit of a holiday in this room rather than using our bedroom. The bed is super comfy. Um, my wardrobe is in here so and in another video I'm going to show you my capsule wardrobe and how it's been working for me. So it's a new concept. It's something that I've been meaning to film for a long time. I think that I've got it working for me now. It suits my lifestyle and I think it's perfect. So this is where I do my makeup in the morning. So I've just refreshed that and I wanted to show you. And I've also refreshed my closet. And also um, I want to do a little video on my capsule wardrobe, which I've been loving over the winter months. So it's coming into spring and summer and I need to switch out all of my seasonal items and get ready for the warmer months. So let's get into the video. Welcome to the guest bedroom and study. I've refreshed the bedding, that's one of the first things I did. I kept everything white and fresh. And this is a photograph that my husband took of a chunk of ice while on holiday in Iceland a couple of years ago. So these are all of our books. He's read or looked at the pictures and so have I in almost every book on that shelf. This orchid is also another photograph of his and so is this image here. They, that one is from Iceland. He's done a series of photos of these flowers and I think they're absolutely gorgeous and they go with everything in our home. These are my favourite candles. People buy them for me. I burn two, three at a time because I like to mix the scents. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you do as well. If you burn two or three candles at the one time and mix the fragrances. Um, and this is my wardrobe. So this room is used mainly as my husband's study and it's also where I keep the majority of my clothes and where I get ready each day and where I do my makeup. So what's new in this area here? A couple of new lighter shades of lipsticks and I'm still loving my Zueva Rose Gold brush set. These are so fluffy and soft, they wash up beautifully and I've not needed any other brush set since I purchased these. I love them. And for skincare, I've got a couple of new items that I've been loving. This YSL Instant Moisture Glow is ideal. I've used it all through winter as a perfect base underneath my makeup, so primarily under my concealer. But I also have been using that together with this Lancome La Base Hydra Pro, and this one is something that I've talked about before, and I use this instead of eye cream now. So this is ideal. I moisturize, I put that on as eye cream, and then I put the instant moisture glow on, and then I put my concealer on, and here's a couple of concealers that I use. Um, there's the Chanel one, Dior, and the It Cosmetics. I've also been loving this mascara that I purchased from Tarte as a recommendation from one of you gals. And this one is the Lights Camera Flashes. Now, I don't know what happened, but the first time I used it, I mustn't have put the lid on properly and it kind of dried out a little bit and it was brand new and I was pretty bummed. So rather than taking it back to the store, I just used my nifty trick of adding a couple of drops of eye drops into the barrel and it's good as gold so yeah good as gold get it but I love this it's really nice and I'm still loving my Dior mono shadow and this one is uh, front row and it is just a really nice everyday all over lid shade um, and another thing I've been loving and this part here too needs a really big clean out as well it's usually um, where I keep eyeliners and um, eyebrow pencils, but I've been really enjoying this Stylo Ombre et Couture eyeshadow 
liner coal and the way I use it is I just put it on um, say for example here as an eyeliner and then I smudge it out and it doesn't smudge out too easily so you've got to be quick but it's perfect to line your upper lashes and then your lower lashes so I really really like this and this color is shade number 12 um, and it's by Chanel and it's just like oh my god it's just such nice packaging and it's a really like soft it's a chubby eyeshadow pencil thing but it's it's great you can use it as an eyeliner or you can use it as um, an eyeshadow all over the eyelid another new thing that I've been loving is this Dior cushion compact foundation and now I'm not a foundation girl but I have been using this as um, a concealer and this one here, it's so cute. I love this. That's the closest I'll get to ever having like a Dior um, leather item. But look at this. So it's got that cute little compact um, applicator there. And then when you flip it open, oh, it's so difficult to do this with one hand. Um, it has the cushion foundation in there. And I love this. It is so cute. Uh, but the color is beautiful and the product goes on just glides on so smoothly and this is in shade 20 and anyway I really like that sorry is that an other focus there you go I really like that that's beautiful um, so that lives in there and I really like using that with the blush and all these things here um, and so yeah what I do is just dip this big foundation brush in that cushion and then put it all over my you know just sort of under eye and smooth out my concealer and it's been going really well the jewelry um, not much new in here um, I borrowed these earrings from my mum I really like them I think that she'll want them back shortly but they are gorgeous um, and just into circles at the moment so I really like those and um, yeah so this is where I keep my jewelry and I really like that it's organized there um, yeah we won't look in there but that's where my undergarments live oh same here um, but in here this needs a bit of a refresh and I'm sorry I should have done it before I film this um, yeah I've got to take some of this stuff out like that's empty I don't know why that's still in there um, hair everywhere all over the brushes this mascara I'm reminded I'm reminded I used to wear this all the time in year 11 and 12 and um, I, I forgot about it and I was out shopping with my mum today and she asked me about a mascara and I saw this one and I was reminded and it comes in a waterproof it comes in like a brownish black and this is um, the blackest black I'm reminded of how good this mascara is so I'm gonna try this again um, that is the Maybelline great lash mascara and I just remember how easy it was to remove and I think I miss that in uh, mascaras these days so look I've got to clean this out that's the box to lights camera flashes um, I can chuck that out this is oh yeah this was a lip color actually I end up giving my sister um, so I can chuck that box out um, this makeup brush cleanser I bought this from Daiso and it's like $2.80 and it is so good I'm telling you it is so so good so I've got one on the go in my bathroom and then this one here is a backup because it's just so good. It takes out every trace of makeup, removes dirt, brush the stain, remove the stain of the brush, it says here. Gotta love that. So that is really good. I'm enjoying using that. Um, I still love my Rodan and Fields Shield Brightening Lotion SPF 15. So this is a really nice moisturizer and I'll crack this out again um, even more so because the summer warmer months are coming up and I, my skin will be even more exposed to the sun um, and I've got to say that this is something I have not been loving and I'm sorry Dove to tell you this but this deodorant stains my t-shirts my white pristine t-shirts under the arms have turned yellow 
and I'm serious, it's because of this. It is because of this. So anyway, this is going in the bin. I'm not even going to pass it on to anyone. That's so embarrassing. And it's deodorant. Like, why would you? It's a roll-on. Ew. Um, but I'm going back to this one. And this is the Invisible Dry Aqua. And it is anti-white marks, yellow stains, and sweat. And Rexona never lets you down. So I'm going to keep that one. This is the eye drops. These are the eye drops that I use to put inside my mascara if it dries out a little bit. This is called Sistine Ultra, Ultra. Sistine Ultra, and if you can't see that because it's not focusing, I do apologize for that. But that's the one. No? Okay. Um, oh yeah, I can throw that out as well. And oh yeah, another thing I've been loving, and this is turning into a, my favorites video, is this Amazing Grace Dry Shampoo. Okay, so a bit of a splurge. Definitely a bit of a splurge, but I've been enjoying this dry shampoo. A, the packaging is super cute, okay? Let's be honest. B, it's such a really, really nice product. It, it's really cool. So yeah, there's that. Um, so that is just a bit of a quick clean out there um, and then just an update on how this thing's going so yep I still keep my large Prada bags up here so my red Prada bag which I might use that bag on Monday if it's raining I will not um, if it's raining I'll use this bag um, still loving this bag here but I've moved it over slightly to make some room for these things and so I just needed an extension of my makeup area here so I've got in this jar a little tiny spatula or oh, you just never know when you need a little spatula and it's really good to apply face masks as well if you don't want to get that under your nails and then I just keep these little things here because um, when that's dirty it will end up in there and then in this little jar here um, you probably can't tell from there but I've got um, a beauty blender and I also keep um, some of these cotton tips to yeah sometimes after a shower or just when you're doing your makeup you just you know get fallout um, and in here and my sister gave me this little owl cutest little owl jar which I love and it's got a seal on it so in here I'm keeping my eye makeup remover wipes you know sometimes you just want to refresh your brush like your concealer brush or um, I like to wipe the tubes down after I've squeezed the product out or you know sometimes you put a little bit of product on the bottom of your on the back of your hand and you just want to wipe it before you start touching everything else anyway so that's what that's for and I really like the convenience of that and then down here um, this nothing much has changed here I received this beautiful tag which you can keep your ID in or in my case I'm going to put my travel card in my opal card in there for work um, so I can take that out and put it on my bed because I'll be using that soon um, a beautiful friend of mine purchased that for me and then she also bought me this beautiful little clutch as well and it's got like the most adorable bees on it so cute and sorry the lighting is bad in this part of the room um, but that's how I like it and yeah I've got my makeup bag um, my ASL Lulu in the medium size and I really like that bag um, but I'm giving it a rest for now. Um, this is an Oriton bag. It can be crossbody or clutch. And then back there, I've got my Prada clutch in the color Sinistra, which means straw. And that color is so hot right now, which I'm pretty glad because I want to crack that out for summer. And then this is one of my latest obsessions. And I bought this one from a company online that um, is called Mark and Graham. And it is so stinking cute. I love it. It's a little zip up pouch here. And then underneath, you put your jewelry in it. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm totally obsessed with this. 
at the moment. This is a little makeup bag up here, or you could put your jewelry in there. And then under here, you actually keep your jewelry in here. So it's got enough room for rings and earrings here. And then on this side here, you can put like your pearls, like I do, or your necklaces, um, or a watch maybe if it fits in there. I don't wear one. Um, earrings, dangly earrings, like that sort of thing. More necklaces on that side. But I love this. I was obsessed with it. I saw it on the Mark and Graham website so many years ago. And every now and then I have a look at it and I think, oh, what do I need it for? But actually it's perfect. I was at my parents recently and um, when I take my jewellery off when I'm at their place, I just kind of have one area that I was keeping it in but my chains were getting tangled so I thought oh you know what I just want to put it all in one spot it's leather and I had my initials hot stamped in it it comes in three different colors a navy blue and a red and the material inside is wipeable so you can put makeup up here and jewelry at the bottom but I think it's perfect for travel and it will fit in my hand carry bag And on this shelf here, my planner supplies remain in this section of the wardrobe. And no, this is not everything. Most of my supplies are upstairs in the attic in the section where I film. These are my most frequently used planners and supplies. But it does need to be reorganised. I'm in the middle of getting ready to film a new what I plan on using in 2019 and also a plan with me video. So do let me know if you wanna see more of these types of shows. What truly gets me out of bed in the morning is coffee, makeup, and binge watching YouTube videos right here. And over here is my wardrobe, and this is where the majority of my clothes are. If you haven't seen my first video on closet or wardrobe organisation, I'll link it down below so you can watch that one and you'll see how I transform this wardrobe from what it was before to what it is now. I'm already working with a pared down wardrobe and I'm fascinated by the concept of a capsule wardrobe. A solution for me is a hybrid of basic, seasonal and classic pieces that mix together and work for my lifestyle and personal tastes. I'm really happy with the space and the way that this wardrobe is arranged. However, I just think there's way too many clothes in here at the moment. In all fairness, it is winter and we're coming into the warmer months. So I will be taking a lot of these sweaters, jumpers, cardigans, sloppy joes off these coat hangers and folding them up and putting them into these baskets. And I've just put some tissue paper in there at the moment because I want to wrap them up so that they remain nice and cozy for the next winter. And as you can see, I've got like gray, black, white stripes and a little bit of color. So this is my color palette. I thought really long and hard about it. These are the colors that suit me and that I like to wear all the time. My ideal wardrobe would have basics, seasonal items, some colour and trendy pieces, some good comfy practical shoes, stylish handbags and lavish accessories. Also due for a clean out and has been working really well is this area of my wardrobe and this is a drawer that I keep my casual clothing in, my jeans, pants, track pants and singlets. So when you come up the stairs and off the spare bedroom here, which is where I was, this is my bathroom, or this is my ladies powder room. And so this is just my little setup, which you've probably seen already, but I Pinterest the heck out of it so that I can get some ideas and so the two towels so this is my regular hand towel and then this is my face towel here 
um, I've got like a little thing of flowers, my little cockatoo because I'm an Aussie and then some artwork from Italy and this one here is so cute, it's actually a photo that we took from the Sistine Chapel, no it wasn't, it was the Basilica in Rome actually, um, yes that's an actual photo of a some of the trips it's a beautiful mosaic I don't know if you can tell but anyway so that is artwork in the bathroom I spruced up this side table by painting it pink and adding a doorknob from anthropology the heart is from a subscriber as is the soap over to this section here under the sink I like to keep this area really neat and tidy because I use everything that you see here there's the brush cleanser that I was talking to you about earlier, my face masks, cotton balls, cotton buds, toners, cleansers, moisturiser, skincare, hair clips, toothbrush, soap, hand soap, mouthwash and all those good things. Oh yeah, and all this washi tape that I put along here just to make it pretty. Here's a tour of the top section. I've got some beautiful scented candles, hand soap, fragrance that I wear every day, and a lolly jar with sample size skincare in there, and my towels. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a top day.